Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from ThinSuite. In this video, we learn how to customize Webflow rich text with Sweet Text. In this example, we learn how to trigger Webflow interactions inside Webflow CMS. This is super powerful, and this demo is going to show a real use case of what a client may want the ability to do. In this example, we'll go over how to set up three different Webflow interactions and then allow your client to choose which interaction runs on the template page. I'm going to go and test our 10 second. I just clicked this test 10 second. And after 10 seconds, a pop-up will show on the bottom right here. And this is our ad pop-up. Same thing with newsletter. If I go and click newsletter, in 10 seconds, we're going to have our newsletter bar show up. These are set up with Webflow interactions. They are straightforward and you should be able to set these up no problem. Now let's go into this CMS example and see how placing this class on the page is going to make that pop-up show automatically without clicking on it. I'm on the template page. I will go and load the template page. And after 10 seconds, we're going to see our pop-up here on the bottom right. It's going to have CMS content and we have controlled this inside the CMS. This is popping up because of the content we added to the CMS. This is a real use case. Maybe a client wants to show an ad, not show an ad, show it immediately, show it after five minutes. You can set up any amount of interactions and optionally click them or not click them based on what sweet text is in that rich text. Let's go into the CMS and make this more clear. We have four examples in the CMS collection. These top three are specific to this walkthrough. The custom classes example is not specific to this walkthrough, but it's going to show that we don't have to run a Webflow interaction if we don't want to. Let's go into the add pop-up 10 seconds. Add pop-up 10 seconds has a class trigger add 10. It doesn't have any content inside. We're not styling text. We're not uh, creating different styles for our rich text. We are just placing a class on the page. So this one has trigger add 10. This one has trigger add 30. This one has trigger newsletter 10. And this one has no class at all that is tied to Webflow interactions. So with these four examples, we're going to run three different inter interactions or no interactions at all. Great. Before we get into the code, before we get into these other examples, let's go and look at how we have these interactions set up. I'm gonna go back to the static page and this is the explainer page that talks about what we are doing. Here we have our trigger add 30 class and I'll open up inspector here and we have our trigger add 10 class and our trigger newsletter 10 class. These classes have to exist. They have to have an interaction tied to the class and they should not be on the template page. They are saved sitting here in our static page. They can be saved and sitting in a style guide, but they have to be there. So let's go to the add 30 first. We have a mouse click trigger and it is set at the class level. This is very important. It will not work if you don't set it at the class level. All of these are set at the class level. Class, class, and class. Awesome. Back to 30. We have interactions add box 30. And here we're waiting 30 seconds and then we will show that add box. And if we go to 10, we'll see that the 10 is a different interaction add box 10. And we are going to show that box after 10 seconds. And then we have our trigger newsletter, which again is a completely different interaction and that's gonna wait 10 seconds and then show our newsletter bar. And then we have one interaction that closes all of them. So they all have the same X. 
They all have the same close and we will close every single one of them with the same interaction. Awesome. Okay, so we have our interaction set up. They are applied at the class level. And now we're going to go into CMS and look at how this works. We just looked at this and we're placing these, at these classes right in here. Cool. And then you'll notice on the template page, each template will have that class on the page. So if I go to 30, we see 30. If I go to 10, we see 10. And you guessed it, newsletter, we see newsletter. And custom classes, nothing. So let's go first and open up this custom classes one. This has no classes that trigger interactions. So we're not going to see any pop up on this page. I'm going to leave it open. It's going to just be chilling here and nothing should happen. No pop up should show. So let's just leave it here and wait. Let's go to our 32nd. Let's go and check that out. So in let's say 25 seconds, let's go and head back there make sure it shows. And let's go to our 10 second and then our newsletter. Great. So let's quickly see if we can get these. 30 second hasn't happened yet. 10 second just showed up. Newsletter bar should show up right now. There we are. And now the 30 second should be coming up. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we just saw that. That actually worked out very well for the live example. We have the 30 second, we have the 10 second and we have the newsletter bar. You are now going to let your clients set these or not set these. That's awesome. This is super customizable. Some content posts really should have a pop-up. Some should not. Some should be super specific based on that content. Maybe a white paper or no white paper. It's all possible. Now let's go into this and see what's actually happening. I wanna show Inside Inspector to show you that this is actually adding this class to the page. If I go in here, we'll see trigger newsletter 10. And you'll see that there's no other class here, only our trigger newsletter 10, because that's what's inside the CMS. And same thing here. We're going to see the trigger add 10 on this one. So let's go in here, trigger add 10, great. Remember, no content in here, we're just adding a class we, do, we are not styling anything. And then our 30 second, let's go and just confirm this is here. Great, trigger add 30, cool. Okay, so we have this working. Now let's get into the JavaScript and figure out how this is working. Now let's get into the custom code. We have classes being added to rich text, no problem. Sweet text can take care of this, but how do these classes get clicked? As you saw in our interactions panel, these are not triggers on load. They are triggers on click. So we need a way to click these triggers if they exist on the page. And that's exactly what this script is doing. First, we have our sweet text here on the page. We need to be able to add these classes to the CMS field. Now we have our add-on script which is going to look for the classes that could be there. And if they exist, click them. Let's go through this line by line to make it more clear. This is a really simple script, but it's super, super powerful when used with sweet text here. First, when the DOM loads, we are going to create an array of all the classes that can be used to trigger interactions. This array is going to be stored in a variable called classes array or classes ARR. Here in our example, we have three different classes, trigger add 30, trigger add 10, and trigger newsletter 10. These are all the options that we're giving our client to go and select when creating a new CMS template page. So these are the only classes that we will be looking for in this script. You can have one class in this array, you can have 30 classes in this array, doesn't matter, it's going to work. And then for each class in the array, for each item in our classes array, we are going to run an if statement and we're passing through our class trigger. 
So wherever you see class trigger, for each time it runs, we're going to feed in each one of these classes. So we have an if statement that is saying, if we see our class trigger, we're going to go and click our class trigger. So as we go for each, if the document sees trigger add 30 on the page, it's going to click itself. If it finds trigger add 10 on the page, it's going to click itself. If it finds trigger newsletter 10 on the page, it's going to click itself. You can see there being a problem if you add too many of these classes on the page. If you add all three of these, it's going to be a mess, things popping up all over. So be careful with this. I would only recommend having one or two interactions playing when doing this. If you put all these on the page, they're all going to run. It goes through every single item in this list. So for each of our examples, we have our 10 second. It's running through three times in that if statement to see if the newsletter bar exists, to see if the ad exists or the ad 30 exists. We see the news we see the newsletter bar hidden here on the page, so we are going to click that. We see the trigger add 30 on the page, we're going to click that. And if we don't see any of these classes on the page, we do nothing. And that is our use case example of this. So still nothing happened here. We didn't see any pop-up. If you don't have any classes, nothing happens. This is only affected when this class is present. Hopefully you learned something valuable here. Hopefully you can use this exactly or customize it for your own experience or your client's experience. This is powerful. It is a cool and interesting way to think about Webflow and classes and sweet text. If you have questions about how to set this up or how to customize, we would love to help you out. That's effing sweet.